no patience for cowards. Welcome back to the back rooms. 600 million square miles of infinite pain and suffering. So a few weeks ago, I uploaded a devlog for my game and it ended up getting over 2 million views, which is insane. Along with those views came a ton of suggestions. Now I'm an indie developer who has to balance school and a part-time job, so I don't really have much free time to work on my game. But that won't stop me from adding every single one of these features. So the first thing we're going to add is camera shaking because right now it kind of just looks like we're floating through the air. And there's really only one way to add realistic camera shaking to your game. And that's by unironically going outside. Now the reason we're outside is because I'm going to track the motion of my camera as I walk around and then use an app called CamTrack to import the data into Unreal Engine. So this is what it looks like in game and it definitely gives it a more realistic feel when you move around. I also added footstep sounds to add to the ambience of the level and redid the VHS effect to add a timestamp at the bottom for all the speedrunners out there. I also added leaning so you can peek around corners without being seen by entities which is super useful in level fun where you have to avoid getting spotted by party goers. Wait, where'd he go? So a lot of people have been wondering why I added a light head to the game since it's not in the original lore. Why you... what he's doing? Bully. Why you bullying me? And the answer is, I have no clue. I just thought it would look cool to see its light shining in the dark. But luckily I found something better that would replace it called Smilers, which are hostile entities with reflective eyes and teeth that gleam in the dark. Now Smilers are extremely scary looking entities, so if you get scared easily, I would suggest looking away because once the lights turn on, you might not like what you see. Do you have any games on your phone? So I made him a bit bigger, and now he's one of the entities that will be making your life miserable. Now it's common survival knowledge that if you see a smiler, it's very important to maintain eye contact and move back slowly. Or not. Also, a lot of people have been asking me to add mobile support to this game, but unless I scale the graphics down to 1%, then your phone would probably blow up. I also made some adjustments to things I made in my last video like replacing some of the textures and models with suggestions from my discord which, if you haven't joined yet, is sick. I've already added a bunch of stuff into the game from there, so if you want to play a part of making this game, be sure to join it with the link in the description. I also added these pitfalls to level 0 and if you fall down there then you'll no clip somewhere else, so good luck with that. In Soviet Russia, backrooms no clip in Tayu. So I had a lot of requests to add the pool rooms, which I'm definitely going to do because it's probably my favorite backrooms level. Not just because it's a bunch of really awesome looking pools, but also because there's actually natural light and windows in the level so you can get some fresh air to restore your sanity. It's also a class 0 level, so it's more about exploring all the cool mazes and rooms and it's completely safe and devoid of any entities. Unless you go into the rooms with dark tiles, don't go in there, just don't do it. So I modeled out a bunch of different rooms and used the Unreal Engine water plugin to add some realistic water to the level. Now I took heavy inspiration from Jared Piker's video, which is amazing, and using some references from there I was able to create these, which obviously still look a bit rough around the edges and don't look fully realistic, but I think they're a good start. I also plan on adding sun rays to the rooms with windows, which really makes them look awesome, but I'll probably just add those before release. I also made these rooms, but I haven't gotten around to setting up the lighting for it, mostly because I have to do something called building it, which brings it from this to this, which makes the light a lot softer and more realistic. So the issue with building lighting is that it takes forever. I can literally hit the build button, then win a game of Warzone, get to round 100 in Zombies, play an entire game of CSGO, all while on 2 FPS because it's taking up all my computer's resources, then come back and it'll be on 8%. Like what is this? So I'm just gonna leave building the lighting until the end. I also added these rooms with dark tiles, which again, don't go in there, just trust me. And I added these entities that'll spawn in there and wait, lighting needs to be rebuilt. You know what? I'm done. <laughs> to escape this level, you need to find this exit right here that leads you to the next level. If I walk into a room and see this, I am just gonna walk right out of there. Screw the exit, I'll just chill in the pool rooms. So before you make the next level, which is probably the scariest one yet, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe or you'll no clip in your sleep. 
And trust me, you don't want to take that risk. And while you're at it, wishlist the game on Steam using the link in the description. When you wishlist the game, you'll get notified when the game comes out so you- So the next level we're gonna add is called level Run For Your Life. Class 0 Safe Level. Class 5 Danger Level, which if you couldn't already tell from the level called Run For Your Life with an exclamation mark means that it's extremely dangerous. So this level is a 10 kilometer long hallway with blaring alarms and flashing red lights, not to mention all the objects in your way that you have to avoid while getting chased by a horde of entities, so good luck with that. So I used this reference image I found online and made this, which I think looks pretty good. To make the hallway extremely long, I was planning on using procedural generation, but I'm starting to have second thoughts about using it for every level because it makes it hard to add story to the game since everything is just randomly generated. So let me know down in the comment section if you want fully procedurally generated levels, or if you want me to handcraft them to add some more lore and story to them. So you're going to be running for dear life from a giant smiler chasing you, so having this tiny bit of camera shake isn't really going to cut it. So I bumped up the settings and... I think this might be a bit too much to be honest. So I added a smiler that chases you around the level and you need to run as fast as you can if you want to be able to outrun him. I also plan on having objects fall from the ceiling and get in your way while you're running. So to prototype that I added these cubes that you have to jump over which I'll replace later. I also added other entities along with the smiler that chase you and slowly start to catch up if you aren't fast enough. To get to the next level you have to run through the entire hallway and get through the exit door without getting caught. But remember not to turn around because you need all the speed you can get to outrun the swarm of entities behind you. So in my last devlog I said I was creating the end, but it turns out that it might not be the actual end. It's a trap. According to the wiki, some say this level has a hidden gateway to arguably the true final level. Level 9 quintillion 223 quadrillion 372 trillion 36 billion 854 million 775 thousand 800 in 7. So it looks like I'll be working on this game for a lot longer than I anticipated. So what I did was use this reference image to create this level and added a secret way to get to the actual end. Now I'm not going to spoil how to get into level 922337203685477 or how to escape it, but it's going to be pretty tough so you better check every single bookshelf in this room. So using this reference I found online, I had an amazing artist named Pouchy Boy in my discord make this, which looks insane so massive shout out to him. Then I use procedural generation to make them stack on top of each other as you go up the stairs. Now again, I'm not going to tell you how to escape this level, but it's going to take a lot of looking around to get out, so be ready for that. So these are all the levels I'm planning for the game to have on release, and I definitely plan on adding more in updates, so it's not going to be one of those games that just gets released and never updated. I might also include a secret level I've been working on, but I'll probably just add that as an update later on, along with some other levels I've planned. I also started working on the main menu, and if you look at the options, they're single player and- wait, does that say multiplayer? Yes.